So, we know what intuition is and how it works. Intuition is the language of your soul. It works through seeing, through hearing, through feeling, and through knowing. And we now know that intuition is consistent, it's clear, and it's compassionate. These are the qualities and the characteristics of intuition. Now, let's talk about how to apply intuition, really how to use our intuition in an everyday way. Again, bearing in mind that this is going to be easy and wanting to streamline your understanding, I've got what I call the triple A of intuition, of applying intuition and utilizing it in our lives for our best good. So the first A in this application of intuition is ask. I know, I know. Sometimes we forget to ask for help. We want to be strong. We want to be smart. We want to be self-sufficient. We want to be independent. We want to do it all on our own. You know, we're super people. So asking for a message from our intuition, asking for guidance from our soul, acknowledging that, yes, I, I, I need a little help here because I want to be inspired. I, I want to feel uplifted. I want to be in communion with my soul is such a powerful thing to do. So I encourage you when you're questioning or wondering or just if you have any doubt at all, ask. Ask is the first way to open up that font of wisdom that can come to us from our soul through our intuition. So just ask. Hey, give me a sign. Hey, soul, I need a message. Hey, am I alone here? Let me know what the higher wisdom is. Ask. That's step one. Now, I guarantee when you ask, you're going to receive. So after you've asked and then you've received, you want to affirm and acknowledge. So ask and then acknowledge because intuition will work. Your soul will speak to you. It can't not. So if you ask for, okay, what would be the right course for me? What would be the right job for me? And you see the image of the, 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 the company that's offered you a job. Or if you wonder if this is a good relationship for you and you see butterflies. Or if you're wanting to know if you should write a book and suddenly a book falls off a shelf. Acknowledge. Oh my gosh, I saw that. I felt that. I heard that. When you acknowledge, you've engaged this language. You've engaged your soul in the conversation. But you've got to acknowledge that. Yes, I see that. Yes, I heard that. I'm willing to accept that. I acknowledge it because I've asked for help. And I can recognize that I've received that help. So you ask and then you acknowledge. Very important. Then, after you've asked for help and you acknowledge that it comes, then you act. You act. So you've gotten the message and you've heard from your soul, then you take action. You say, okay, well, I asked what I could do to improve my health. Then suddenly a yoga email showed up in my inbox. I'm going to go to yoga. You act on it. Maybe you go to yoga and it's not your thing. That's okay. You tried. You acted. You trusted that intuition. And maybe at the class, someone mentioned that they were also taking Pilates. And so you decided, oh, then I'll go to the Pilates class. And maybe that's what you love. That's what you have to understand about intuition. And I think that's so important, but it's what makes intuition so fun is that it is a journey. It is a process. So you get the message about yoga when you've asked for what you can do to help yourself physically or to heal. You go to yoga class, but it's not so great. It doesn't mean your intuition failed, that you got the wrong message, or that your soul was out to lunch. It means that there's something in that class to pay attention to or to watch for. And sure enough, when you take a step back from judging or thinking you failed or, or berating yourself because you didn't get the message, pay attention because there's something there for you to experience so that you can really access that wisdom that's inside. And maybe in that situation, maybe you've always felt like you should do yoga or, oh, I should go to this. And then when you go, you realize it's not for you. 
so you can let that go. And then that opens you up to new experiences, new ideas, new thoughts. So maybe you went to the yoga class and it was too bendy and stretchy and you felt like you were going to snap. Then you know and you can release that. And then suddenly you have the inspiration, oh my gosh, I, I want to walk because I love being outside. And then maybe you're out walking and you discover that the sunsets are beautiful, so you start taking pictures. And then you discover that you're really good at photography and you've been wondering what you could do as a career path. And then suddenly you're good at photography and then, and then you notice you're good at nature photography. And then it leads into this beautiful journey of discovering creative talents, of feeling good physically, all because yoga didn't work out. It could, it could happen. You've got to trust, but you've got to act when you receive those messages. You ask, you acknowledge, and then you act. And you take it one step at a time. Remember, again, your intuition doesn't guide you to the end it guides you to the next step and then the next step and then the next step it's a very loving and it's a very gentle process that happens now 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 and now and that is so important to remember because intuition is such an amazing way of feeling connected to who we are right now and, and who we are as we change and who we're becoming and embracing that change and that growth that we're here to experience because intuition is our steady guide through whatever changes happen in the world and happen in our lives. Our intuition can be that light that shines for us that helps us really find our way and helps us see who we're truly truly meant to be that's what intuition is it's the language that we have from our soul that helps us know who we are so there you have it you've got intuition working for you you know how to tell the difference between intuition and all the other stuff and now you know how to apply it ask acknowledge and act it's really that easy I know we've covered a lot and I've truly enjoyed sharing all this with you. Intuition is just the best because it really is the gift, the lifeline that we have with our soul. And yet there is so much to practice and learn and to have fun with. And maybe you have questions. Well, I've got answers and I've got passion and I've got love. So if you want to go a little bit further into it, please reach out please contact me because I'm here and I want to guide you and I want to coach you and I want to help you understand just how wonderful life can be, how wise your soul is, and all the goodness that you are here to receive. So reach out and let me know how I can help and how I can serve because I want to help you get further and further into it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy working with your intuition and being in contact with your soul. Namaste.